Skip. You're very tight to me. If you're able to talk, could you could you tell us what the public reaction to the uh, the peace pudding school was? We heard a lot about it. The people have generally sort of like understood <laughs> and acknowledged the uh, the concept behind it about growing up in the 70s and 80s where one's whole diet may consist of stocky and peas pudding because of like the miners, like you know, and Thatcher, like Thatcher, Thatcher and the miners, like you know. Um, so I, I, I was trying to sort of like, in a, in a similar way to where Mark Quinn did hit his head in his own blood, I would thought, well my, cut me and I bleed peas pudding. Uh, <laughs> Stab me and I and poked it would emerge fountain light from my chest in a great I don't know cosmic aorta. Uh, so the, consequently the uh peace pudding school. Uh, yesterday I decided to do a half hourly sniff the school uh, sessions. Uh, and it was surprisingly open to the concept I found. Um, some, obviously, a little uh, reticent of the possible health and safety consequences of it, uh, but did partake indeed. And so I saw that very much as a performance piece, as somehow expressing the smell, the stench of Washington, the ambience of putrefying peas, and what I despair.